Today on Blog Success Journal, Google AdSense, how to make money with your blog. Yeah, and today's show is brought to you by our friends at HostGator, the only web host that we actually recommend to our own friends and family. And in true Dan and Jennifer fashion, we'll get you a really sweet deal. So if you go to blogsuccessjournal.com slash HostGator, you can start your blog today for just one penny. Yeah, it's a great choice. Make sure you do it while it's still available. Now, Google AdSense is really perfect for website publishers, guys with the blog, girls with the blog. You just started a site, it's great for you if you don't want to deal with big advertisers. In the beginning, you're not going to want to. And it's also great if you're just starting out and you, well, you have some decent content on your site, but you don't quite have enough content or enough traffic mm -hmm. for the bigger ad networks. So, okay, here's the thing, okay, ads always have to be secondary to your content and the design of your website. So you want to make sure that your website looks really good, you've got great content, you're engaging your readers. That way, those same readers are going to be far more receptive to the ads that you're displaying. Absolutely. Now, go, go into the details of this, actually making it happen, you've got to choose the layout. Where the, yes, content is first. If you don't have content, good content and content well placed, and it looks just like a spammy ad site, nobody's going to want to read it. But so you got. Have you ever landed on one of those web pages where there's not really a website? You call it a parked website, and all there is is a Google ad there. Yeah, it's very annoying. Yeah, or, or like a site that has like two sentences and Google ads everywhere. That's a spammy site. Nobody wants it. You're not going to get ranked. You're not going to do well with that, most likely. But so how do you do it? You got to find the little fine line where you place your content in a way that looks respectable because that's what they came for, the content, mm -hmm. and yet still place the ads in a good location to where they see them. That's a real fine line, and it evolves after a lot of testing and testing and testing. Anyway, now with Google AdSense, you can have up to three AdSense units on a page. So you figure out how many you're going to have. We definitely suggest you go with all three and where exactly you're going to put them. Choose wisely because if you put them in the wrong place, obviously put them all at the bottom. Nobody's going to see them. Nobody's going to click them, right? So you try all kinds of things. Uh, Google, uh, through the AdSense help stuff, they provide you an actual heat map. They've done a lot of studies. And they, they know where people's eyes start on a page, etc. Mm -hmm. So look at their heat map when you're setting up your AdSense account and they'll show you where they suggest you place ads. It's a very good starting point, test that. And you wanna have at least one ad above the fold. You know, when, when you land on a site and you do a lot of scrolling, before any scrolling, you should see an ad right there. You could, and test different placements, different colors and all that kind of stuff before you make the final decision. But in the end, traffic is always king. Okay, more traffic equals more revenue, period. So while it's important to run ads on your site, make sure you're focused on building your presence and your brand and driving traffic. Yeah. And test, test, test. Evaluate regularly. We're always testing across all of our sites. We always, always test and split test all kinds <laughs> of things. Ad nausea. More than you want to know, okay? More than most people want to know. But anyway, determine, you got to, you don't just want to put these ads there and say, oh, it's working. Look, you test all kinds of placements. You, you let them run for a while because you don't want to have 100 impressions of it and say, oh, it's not working. Have a few thousand impressions of each at least. And then you see, oh, it did this one. Now you try something else. You try a different position. Try a different color you can always be testing. Then you pick a more successful one and you test against that. And ideally you do something called split testing where you're running two things at the same time. Usually it requires an ad server, you don't have to do it, so don't, I'm not saying it's mandatory. But just make sure you test, test, test. Never That's stop testing. That's the key testing. with AdSense. Okay, now, if you're using AdSense, <coughs> leave your comments, let us know what tips that you have to help the new guys out, to help the new guys out, okay? So leave your tips. Yeah. And don't forget, go to blogsuccessjournal.com slash hostgator to start your blog today for just a penny. Take, you want to take advantage of this offer while it's still available because you really have no excuse not to have your own blog up and running 10 minutes from now.